Hey everybody, I'm gonna go over torque and transparencies. First off, we're gonna start in Blender. Also, I'm gonna open uh, GIMP. Here we are. First, we're gonna set this up on the DTS scene. I already have DTS scene set up. I'm gonna go down Shift, activate the other palette, and here we have it. Everything's already activated. Let's just shrink down this box in the middle a bit. I'm gonna move it back. We're gonna jump into tab mode so we can edit it. Right screen. Just click the divider, right click the divider, and pull up split screen. Then go off to UV image editor. Alright, we should be good from here. And we're gonna jump into GIMP. Now there's there's quite a few ways to make a transparency in GIMP apparently. I wish I knew this a long time ago because it's always been a pain in my side trying to get everything up and running. Now from the windows, open up the layers, channels, paths, and undo, because we're going to need it. Get that over to the side, and we're going to open up a new scene or texture. I'm going to make this uh, 512 by 512. Okay, and over here. I'm gonna make sure when we target this little button over here, configure this tab. Now, from configure this tab, right, just make sure you have the first one selected, by the way. Layers menu, add alpha channel. Layers menu, then add layer mask. Pick the third one down that's called Layers Alpha Channel. Add that to the scene. Then, this is already highlighted, this is the paintbrush. I would scale it up a bit because the black will eventually erase everything, then transforms it to a transparent picture. So, not everything's transparent the way we want it to. We're going to apply the layer mask. That is another layer mask and apply layer mask and everything's done and over with we're going to switch colors let's throw some red in here All right now scale this brush down a bit the paintbrush by the way before you apply layer mask if you use the eraser it'll erase the black which is uh, the color used to create the transparency during the last few seconds of the video. So now that we're adding in the red here, I don't even know what that is. It's calling an owl. Alright, so we're going to save as, and we're going to find a folder to put it in. For now, I'm going to put this on my desktop, and I'm going to name this Hoot, or Wrong Keyboard. Going to lower that, then change the file type to PNG. There are those who use PNG because it's a lot easier and it's smaller, I believe. And there are those who like Targa because when you stretch a PNG, I think there's a little distortion problem. It's something you would have to play around with. Now that it's been saved to our desktop, we're going to make sure number 1, 3, and 4 are unselected. So you have everything selected. Then the uh, compression level, we're going to leave that at, it's normally at 7, but I leave mine at 9. Alright, now that it's been saved, we're going to jump back into Blender. Now I'm going to show you how to create or actually enable transparencies in a moment. Let's just open up the main file. Scroll all the way down. Here we go. 